new community is unique, offering all the advantages of a D.C. metropolitan suburb, but with a small-town feel. Falls Church prides itself on the city's friendly community and welcomes you as its newest member. Now let's take a look at your new home and the many resources Falls Church has to offer you. The City of Falls Church is governed by an elected City Council, a City Manager, and numerous City staff. The City Council decides policy, while City Government offices located at City Hall, 300 Park Avenue, do their best to answer your questions about City issues. The Department of Housing and Human Services and the Police Department are two offices of particular interest. The Housing and Human Services Department provides a wide range of resources to city residents. Just some of the housing services available through the department are housing counseling services, response to landlord-tenant and fair housing complaints, information regarding the Operation Match Home Sharing Program, and subsidized housing. Additionally, applications for the Rent and Tax Relief Program, as well as individual assistance completing the forms, may be requested from the department. Human Services encompasses the resources which improve the quality of life for all residents, such as information regarding financial assistance, employment, child care, aging services, legal assistance, mental health and substance abuse counseling, health care, transportation, in-home services, and more. Residents with questions about resources available to them should call the Department of Housing and Human Services. The City of Falls Church has its own police department. Keeping Falls Church safe and reaching out into the community through events and programs have created strong ties between the city's community and the Falls Church police officers. Community events sponsored by the police department have included the Ellison Street Festival, holiday brunches for senior citizens of Falls Church, and canine demonstrations. Some of the ongoing community programs include Neighborhood Watch, a program designed to help communities keep an eye on their own neighborhoods, McGruff Houses, safe houses for children to go to if they run into trouble, Home and Business Security Surveys, and Child Latchkey. This program provides numbered keychains to children. If the keys are lost and returned to the police, the keys can be returned to the family. Police-sponsored programs in the schools include D.A.R.E., the national program teaching kids to stay away from drugs, the safety patrols, and bicycle rodeos, a fun way to learn about riding safety. Of course, the Falls Church Police also fight crime. To contact the Falls Church Police Department, please call 241-5050. Falls Church also has its own fire station. Volunteer firefighters from Falls Church team up with Arlington County career firemen to protect the citizens of Falls Church. Call 911 for all fire and rescue emergencies. For general non-emergency information, call 241-5053. All the city's government offices are dedicated to serving you. From help finding daycare to keeping your neighborhood safe. Falls Church government is there. But what about a little fun? We've got that too. The Falls Church Recreation and Parks Department probably has the activity you're looking for. The Falls Church Recreation and Parks Department offers a year-round program of recreation and leisure activities for all city residents. Some of the facilities Recreation and Parks oversees include the Cherry Hill Farmhouse and Park, the Senior Center, and the community center, 10 tennis courts, a bicycle trail, and 13 other parks scattered throughout the city. Almost 100 hobby and recreation classes are offered regularly by the Recreation and Parks Department. For a small fee, these cover interests as varied as guitar, tennis, pottery, cooking, exercise, and photography. Most classes are held at the community center. In addition, the Cherry Hill Farmhouse and the Senior Center offer special courses. Special events, such as the Farmer's Market, 
the annual Memorial Day Parade, Harvest Fair, and July 4th celebration have become part of Falls Church's culture. These activities and others during the year serve as places for city residents to meet and socialize. Several sports for children and adults are sponsored and coordinated throughout the year by the city's Recreation and Parks Department. Soccer, basketball, softball, tennis, horseshoes, and volleyball are just a few. Trips for both teens and adults are sponsored by Recreation and Parks. These one-day excursions are planned to sites such as Baltimore for an Orioles game or Harpers Ferry for whitewater canoeing. The list of activities Recreation and Parks offers goes on and on. For information on hobby classes and activities, callers stop by the Community Center at 223 Little Fall Street, 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of everything that's going on in the city, but that's when you ask the experts. The Falls Church City Public Information Office has the answers about city services and events and can also direct you to the person or office you may need to answer your questions. The Falls Church Public Information Officer and staff are located in City Hall. The City of Falls Church was founded in the 1950s for one primary purpose, to create an independent school system. Over 40 years later, the Falls Church City Schools are still the heart of the community. This award-winning school system is run by the Falls Church City School Board, an appointed board of seven members who decide policy for the schools, the superintendent of schools, and the school systems, teachers, and staff. The Falls Church School System is comprised of three schools. Mount Daniel, located on North Oak Street, is the primary learning center for Falls Church students in kindergarten and first grade. Falls Church has a full-day kindergarten program, and Mount Daniel students may participate in the city's daycare program before and after school and all day in the summer. Thomas Jefferson Elementary serves Falls Church students grades 2 through 5. The Falls Church Extended Daycare Program is also available at Thomas Jefferson, which is located on South Oak Street. George Mason is both a middle school for grades 6 through 8 and a high school for grades 9 through 12. Phone numbers for the Falls Church School's central office and each individual school can be found in the brochure which accompanies this program. One of the main reasons for the school system's outstanding reputation is the many programs available to students. These include developmental screening for preschool age students, English as a second language classes for all school age students, and the academically challenging international baccalaureate for high school students. There are also a wide variety of clubs and activities for students to be a part of. Sports, music, and clubs for social, academic, and community service purposes. Special services, such as a speech and hearing specialist, school psychologists, a school social worker, a nurse for each school, and the city's substance abuse coordinator are also available to students and their families. For information about any of these programs, call the school your child will attend. Also run through the school system is the Office of Community Education. Many innovative city and school programs are run through this unique office. Community Education sponsors classes and lectures for recreation and adult education. Two of the most popular classes are English as a Second Language for Adults and GED Preparation Workshops. All the ESL classes are free of charge. The City's Daycare Program is run through the Community Education Office. Before and after school daycare is available to school-age children of Falls Church City residents. All day daycare is offered during the summer months and all fees are levied on a sliding scale based on income. For additional daycare options, the Department of Housing and Human Services offers a free directory which contains information on child care centers, family daycare homes, part-time day preschool programs, 
and Parents' Day Out programs in Falls Church. The Community Education Office is also the center for what else? Communications. The School Systems Communication Specialist is here to answer your questions about the school system and also publishes the school's calendar, brochures, and other items of information. Falls Church Cable Channel 38 is the city's government, educational, and public access television station carried by Media General Cable. All city council, planning commission, and school board meetings are aired on Channel 38 along with the city's public information program, Focus on Falls Church, and the school's information program, School Spirit. Specials such as sporting and dramatic events make up a large part of the station's programming. The public access portion of the station is a resource for all city residents, just like you. To create programming for air on Channel 38, classes are taught in television production, and graduates may either produce their own programs or simply help other volunteers with an access production. Public access programs on Channel 38 include cultural, educational, and programs just for fun. Programming lists are in the Focus newsletter, which is mailed to all city residents, and the Falls Church News Press, a free independent city newspaper. When Channel 38 is not airing programs, the electronic bulletin board is running. In addition to the hourly general information segments about city area events, all special announcements of city and school delays and closings due to weather are posted on the scroll at the top of the bulletin board. Community Education also sponsors a variety of other programs such as TRIPS and the Geographic Lecture Series. These and other activities are listed in the Schedule of Classes and Community Programs, which is sent by mail to all city residents. For information on any of Community Education's programs, call the office between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. In addition to the wealth of resources already discussed, there are several other items which deserve mentioning. The Mary Riley Stiles Library, located on North Virginia Avenue, lends out books, videotapes, magazines, CDs, audio tapes, and more. Reading programs are sponsored by the City Library for all ages. For more information, you may call or stop by the library at 120 North Virginia Avenue. If you are looking for an alternative to the public education Falls Church provides, there is St. James Catholic School. This private elementary school is located in the city and may be reached by calling the number listed in your brochure. There are many places of worship in the city of Falls Church, representing a variety of religions. The city's public information office has a list of all the houses of worship in the city and copies are available to the public. Unfortunately, there are times when special health services are needed for yourself or your loved ones. The Community Health Care Network, located at Bailey's Crossroads, offers Spanish-speaking doctors and services such as general health care, lab tests, immunizations, and medications. The Fairfax County Health Department on West Broad Street in Falls Church offers health clinics, nursing services, pregnancy testing, STD clinics, prenatal care, the Well Baby program, minor emergency care, and other public health services. Drug and alcohol abuse counseling for adults and minors is available through the Fairfax Falls Church Community Services Board's Adult and Youth Services. The Falls Church City Schools also has a substance abuse coordinator available for counseling. There are many organizations designed to help victims of violence. To report the suspected abuse, neglect, or exploitation of elderly or disabled adults, call the Adult Protective Services. Fairfax County Child Protective Services should be contacted to report the suspected abuse or neglect of children. Women in need of emergency housing and emotional support due to an act of domestic violence should contact the Fairfax County Women's Shelter. 
These organizations, their locations, and phone numbers may be found in your brochure. If you're not sure who to call for help, the Falls Church Department of Housing and Human Services will offer guidance in times of trouble. Working parents can always use a little help. The Falls Church McLean Children's Center provides full-time early childhood programs care and hearing and vision screening to three to five-year-olds enrolled in the program. Parenting classes and discussion groups are conducted at the center and there is a psychologist on staff. Subsidies are available to families who qualify for financial assistance. Senior citizens will find many programs tailored just for them in our city. This includes two senior centers. The Winter Hill Senior Center serves meals to elderly and disabled residents and offers a variety of programs and activities with transportation available. The Falls Church Senior Center, located in Cherry Hill Park, functions as a social club with many programs of interest for the senior citizen. The Senior Times, published by the city's Community Education Office, is a helpful guide to events at the centers, trips, and items of information helpful to our older residents. The Senior Times is free and can be sent to your home by making a call to the Community Education Office. Falls Church City, your new home, is happy to welcome you into the neighborhood. We hope that the information contained in this video will help you learn more about your new community.